Hello everyone. In this video we'll be talking about bed mass and how it applies to working with fractions. We'll start with a simple example. Three fractions all multiplied together. And the process for solving this is similar to solving two fractions multiplied together. We multiply all the top numbers together. 4 times 1 times 12. And we put that over all the denominators multiplied together. 3 times 6 times 15. And when we evaluate that, we should get 48 over 270. This is a big fraction now to try and reduce. So we could look for some numbers that might divide evenly into the top and the bottom. I think we could probably divide the top and bottom by 6. And when I do that, I'm left with 8 over 45. There's another way to do this that might make our work a little bit simpler right off the bat. Before we start solving this question, we could look at the terms in the numerators and denominators and try and do some cancelling. So, I can look at the terms in the numerators. If I can think of any numbers that would divide evenly into a term on the top and a term on the bottom, I can use that to reduce some of these fractions. For example, I know that I could divide 4 by 2, and if I do that I'm left with 2, and I could divide 6 by 2, and if I do that I'm left with 3. I also see that I can divide 12 by 3, and I'd be left with 4, and I can divide 3 by 3, and I'm left with 1. So now my fraction question has simplified to 2 thirds times 1 over 1 times 4 over 15. And then when I multiply this all out, 2 times 1 times 4, I get 8 over 3 times 1 times 15, which is 45, which is the same answer I got previously. Reducing before multiplying helps you find a fraction in lowest terms more quickly. So let's try this question. Here I have 5 eighths divided by 2 tenths divided by 9 halves. When we approach this question, and really any math question, you always want to try and read it from left to right, especially when we're talking about bed mass. From left to right, bed mass tells me to solve the first division first. So when I'm dividing fractions, my method is to flip the fraction and change it to multiplication. I can do a little bit of reducing first. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So when I simplify the first two terms, I end up with 25 over 8 divided by 9 over 2. Now I can flip the last term and change it to multiply. And let's try and reduce first. I know that 2 divides evenly into itself and into 8. And 25 times 1 is just 25. 4 times 9 is 36. I think that fraction might be as reduced as I can make it, but we can check. You use that fraction button on your calculator. 
And yes, that is as reduced as we can make this. Okay, we'll try something a little bit more difficult. Now we've got addition, subtraction, and multiplication all in one question. And some brackets. So remember, bed mass tells us to solve the brackets first. And inside the brackets I get 5 6 times 1 half which will become 5 over 12 plus another 3 quarters. So now my question is 2 thirds minus 5 twelfths plus 3 quarters. I look for that common denominator and in this case I think it's going to be 12. So converting each of my fractions to a fraction over 12 my first term I need to multiply top and bottom by 4. My second term is already a fraction over 12 so I can leave it as is. In my last term I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3. So 9 twelfths. And then I leave the denominators alone and add or subtract the numerators from each other. 8, take away 5, plus 9, 12 over 12, which I can reduce to just 1. Let's do some work with powers now. I have 3 minus 2 thirds, all in a bracket, squared. So this means solve what's in the bracket first. And if I convert the number 3 to a fraction with a common denominator of 3, I have 9 thirds minus 2 over 3. Remember that number 3 is really the same as the fraction 3 over 1. So 9 thirds minus 2 thirds squared will become 7 thirds squared. And now evaluating fractions and powers, you're welcome to do this on your calculator. But as we evaluate fractions and powers, if we see a fraction raised to a power, we understand that that power is applied to both the numerator and the denominator. So let's look at that in a little bit more depth. Powers and fractions, if I have, say, 1 half raised to some power, Let's raise it to the power of 3. That's the same as 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. Or 1 times 1 times 1 over 2 times 2 times 2. Which I can then simplify to 1 raised to the power of 3 over 2 raised to the power of 3. So we see that when we have powers being applied to fractions, that power, that exponent, applies to the numerator and the denominator. So in my example, as I evaluate this, I would have 7 squared over 3 squared, which becomes 49 over 9. And a quick check of my calculator tells me that there's no further way to reduce this. So in summary, when we're working with complicated fractions, fraction questions with many steps, always follow bed mass, just like when we were working with integers. And the second major point from this video, when we're dealing with fractions and exponents, for example, 2 thirds raised to the exponent of 8, we take that exponent and we apply it to the numerator and the denominator. So 2 thirds to the exponent of 8 is the same as 2 to the exponent 8 over 3 to the exponent 8.